Last time we saw Sean Cruz here on Midnight Mayhem, a little controversy surrounding his matchup. He was facing Xavier Rush, a man that we once thought was a great person to have on Midnight Mayhem. Times have changed. Last time you won your matchup, you are now the head man here at ACPW. What are you thinking about tonight? I, I know you've got a tag team matchup, but I don't see a tag team partner. <laughs> yeah, Aaron, it's, you know, it's funny you mentioned that. Um, yeah, I, I did have a tag team partner. Apparently, uh, he's not here. I don't know what's happened. I've not, I've not been able to get any contact from him. He's not called me. I can't get up with him. Uh, but I'll tell you what, um, that's not going to stop me from going in and get some retribution against pain and agony and the beating they put on me last time. I mean, I was literally carried from the ring uh, by the guys in the back. Uh, I don't forget things like that. It's not going to be forgotten anytime soon. I'm going to go out there and get my revenge, whether I have to be carried out of here again or one of them's going in the ambulance. It's going down tonight. That's all I can really say. Sean, I, let me tell you, man, you are going to be taking on about 400, shoot, I would say 600 pound a man at least, <laughs> yeah. and you're about 200 pounds. I, you're going to have to find somebody to stack up against those guys. I mean, what are your thoughts on that? Man, I tell you what, my thoughts have honestly been racing uh, since about the last two hours when I, I haven't heard from my partner, and I have been looking. You know, apparently everybody else is already in a match tonight. Uh, I'm looking high and low. I'm going to do the best I can. What I always do, you know, I've got more heart and I've got more determination uh, than, than anybody in this business, in my opinion, my humble opinion. Um, and, you know, it's, it's just going to have to be what it is. You know, I'm going to come out and I'm going to give these fans the show they deserve. Um, and we're doing this for a good reason. We're doing this for Toys for Tots. We're raising the money for kids for Christmas. That's what it's about. And tonight, I'm going to go out and do what I've been doing for 10 years, and that's put on a show and do my best. Folks, we're going to have to check in a little bit later, see if he's found that tag team partner, and see if that matchup will be on tonight's show. Questions are, uh, are unanswered right now. We'll find out later. Oh, my! Broke the table in half! No, I will tell. Welcome to another exciting edition of Midnight Mayhem. I am your host, Aaron Varnum, and I am joined as always by Brock Knox, the one and only. And tonight we have a, a special matchup to start off the show. Uh, this, my friend, is T. Roy Jones. The first time you will be seeing him on Midnight Mayhem, but hopefully not the last. He's an interesting character here. He looks uh, like he's repping some thug life. Look, he. He is just giving the stink eye to these children. Uh, he really is. Uh, from what you tell me, he's a very, very serious man. Uh, and just look at him right now. He's just uh, enjoying and taking it all in. And look, 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 this kid like wants a little handshake, and somebody's not giving any love. I don't, I don't know what uh, T. Roy is thinking. Well, we've got two new competitors here tonight. We've got T. Roy Jones and his competitor about to make his way to the ring. Something serious right there you see in the ring. Well, outside the ring, we are going to take a beautiful look at Johnny Schuyler. Johnny Schuyler, a man that hasn't been on Midnight Mayhem yet. Uh, he definitely hasn't. Uh, you know, when you when you get on Midnight Mayhem, you always see these new treats. And uh, that's what we try to bring you each and every weekend. And uh, <laughs> here he comes, the crowd pleaser himself, Johnny Schuyler. Johnny Schuyler making his way to the ring right now. Folks, we're going to be giving you updates throughout the evening and throughout this matchup, trying to find out if, if we're actually going to be, this is going to be the only match tonight. We need to find out if, uh, you know, Sean Cruz may have or may not have a partner tonight. I'm kind of worried about this matchup coming up next. But folks, we're about to head to a commercial break. I guarantee you this match is going to be fun. Stay tuned. Brock Knox, uh, say goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. See you in a second. It's going to be great. I like it.
Welcome back to Midnight Mayhem. Johnny Schuyler posing for the fans right there. And T Roy Jones already up and at him. Yeah, you definitely, uh, you love to see when a, a, a match gets started like that. But <laughs> T Roy is just taking it to the guy. He did, uh, I don't think uh, Mr. Schuyler there uh, knows what hit him. Well, it looked like a big right hand hit Johnny Schuyler. Johnny Schuyler off the ropes. These are two smaller guys we have in this promotion, but they are fast paced. Look at Johnny Schuyler just slapping the mess out of T Roy Jones' chest. Yeah, you, you, you see the muscle right there, but uh, T Roy, uh, he's uh, he's not like just wiping it off right now. It looks like a, he's saying, that's a mosquito bite, my friend. Uh, try and slap me again, see what happens. T Roy Jones brushing his shoulders off. Johnny Schuyler stalking his prey, going for a test of strength. That, Skyler, I don't think that's a smart move. You see, T. Roy Jones is smarter than that. And T. Roy Jones, he's gonna put you in a side headlock just that easily. Uh, yeah, he definitely did. He's gonna go for a ride right now, though. Oh, flip the right over there. Skyler does it again. Two arm drags out of Johnny Skyler, and Skyler takes him down with a big clothesline. T. Roy Jones is back up, and T. Roy Jones is dumped out the ring like yesterday's garbage. Look at that, he is, he's reeling right now. Uh, he, he definitely is, and uh, I don't think he knows what's what, going what's on. Skyler has got over the ropes and bam! Oh, my friends, look at that. Skyler showing some some moves that, that, you know, very apt name you got there. Skyler, sky, up high, in the sky. He's a bird, he's a plane, and no, that's just uh, Johnny Skyler. That's just Johnny Skyler. Skyler throwing him back in the ring, smart maneuver by that by Johnny Schuyler, because he cannot win. Quick cover. If he's outside the ring, there you go, and uh, he tried, he tried. Valiant effort, my friend Schuyler. A valiant effort indeed. Johnny Schuyler going back on the offense against T-Roy Jones. T-Roy Jones, he is taking a ride himself right here, and Schuyler up and over, down. Schuyler, oh, drop to the head, loving that. Oh, you definitely get a cover on this one. One, two, oh man, thought it was over. You don't, you don't get up from those too often. And uh, T-Roy, he uh, took a licking on those uh, chinny chin chin hairs that he's got going right there with that uh, Fu Manchu. Come on, ref. Ref, you gotta get those those counts a little bit quicker, a little bit more in sync right there. Johnny Schuyler talking, talking to the audience, saying, you know what, this, this is how I want my claps to be. Yes, loud, loud and proud. Loud, rhythmic, proud, and Johnny Schuyler up and over, and T-Roy with the block. He definitely got those knees up. I don't think uh, Johnny thought they were coming. Right to the stomach oh. there and to the throat. Oh, he came quick. Uh, T-Roy has got some quickness to him, my friend, and he definitely uh, used it right there. Uh, great move by T-Roy. Look at T-Roy's chest. T-Roy's chest is red. I, this is amazing. Johnny Schuyler is feeling all the pain and agony being put on to his body right now. And speaking of pain and agony, they've got a matchup against Sean Cruz coming up in a yeah, little bit. Yeah, but T-Roy with a quick cover too. I thought, oh, he's he's not liking the ref to uh, slow count there either. What's Steven doing in that ring? Steven a little bit clueless right now. Come on, Stevie-o. Stevie-o. Wake, wake it up, Stevie-o, Steven, Stevie, uh, whatever we're gonna call him, uh, but he's uh, he's gotta get in this match. Uh, you know, got a long count on that, uh, oh, that choking him on the ropes right there. Never looked good, and that Skyler just holding him something. You can see him, he's, uh, he's, Trying to catch his breath. Johnny Schuyler might need a shot of albuterol, but he is fighting back against T-Roy Jones with every bit of, like, energy he's got left in his body. T-Roy Jones taking the offense. T-Roy Jones with a pump handle slam onto the gut. He's definitely working on the gut of Schuyler right now. It's with a quick cover. One, two. No. I don't, I think Stevie, that was a good job by Steve. He knows it was too. That was, that was a good count as well. Oh, working on that stomach right there. Is he, he just thinks that uh, Schuyler's uh, abdomen is not uh, Maximus as it could have us. T-Roy Jones taking some shots to the mid section right now. And whatever that was, that was a knee to the face. That wasn't mid section. Yeah, he definitely did. You know, it's, it's tough to just call these moves what they are, but simply when you get a knee to the face, you get a knee to the face. Oh, back to the midsection of Johnny Schuyler right now. Johnny Schuyler feeling it right now. And you know, if, if he's working on that midsection, he's not going to be able to breathe. Uh, he definitely is. Uh, you know, oh, Johnny Schuyler with a great uh, comeback move right there. Uh, you know, but if, if he keeps working on this midsection of Schuyler, 
uh, you know, drop a tree down right at the midsection and he's gonna fall hard. He's not gonna be able to do those moves. T-Roy Jones with the two-hand Kung Fu Panda chop right there and he is rolling him up and they're almost it. Johnny Schuyler is still in this matchup. T-Roy Jones taken back to the offense. Some kind of illegal choke maneuver or, or, or maybe not. We'll, we'll see if Steven calls this down the middle like he has been. Yeah, uh, he definitely does. He's right there up on it. You know, you see him, man. He's got the, got the bear hug right now, working on that stomach again. Oh, man. Very artistic shot by the cameraman there. Whoever whoever did that is, should be a chief photographer somewhere at uh, the TV maybe, station. Maybe so. Uh, you know, but to be honest, uh, now you get the, the close-up right there. This guy's got some, got some skills, I tell you what. Johnny Schuyler feeling the pain as T-Roy Jones squeezes that midsection he has been working on this entire matchup. I don't know if Schuyler can do any of his, his high-flying moves we've been seeing like all throughout the, the night because Johnny Schuyler needs a very strong core to do those moves. Uh, you know, he definitely is, you know, but uh, if T-Roy keeps this up, we're going to have to call him uh, Johnny Groundler uh, if, if this keeps happening. I, I see what you did there. I see what you did there, Brock. Ha <laughs> Groundler. Johnny Schuyler fighting back, trying to get the audience behind him. Johnny Schuyler calling all the, all the the warriors out there in the in the audience, and he is getting up from this. His stomach may be in pain, but he is able to fight through it just for the the good of mankind. Yeah, he definitely is. You know, he's got those you know, great hooks right there. When he got up in the, oh, he thinks he's got the momentum going back in his favor, but then once again, he just gets it right to the midsection. T-Roy, just a knee right to the gut, never feeling good. T-Roy knows what he's doing in this ring. You can tell that both of these men have not uh, been strangers to the squared circle. They have been trained well, and uh, it looks like coming out in this matchup, they are both ring warriors as you see Brock Knox. Right there, and uh, you know, you saw Skyler with the move right there that he's trying to catch his breath, and uh, you know, if anybody's got the wind knocked out of him, they always know, uh, you know, it's never easy to get back up, and he's trying to get the crowd riled up, trying to get everybody going right now, and uh, looks like Skyler's ready to go. Skyler's going up, it looks like. He, he's he's calling to the sky his namesake. Johnny Skyler, it looks like he's going, going to the turnbuckle. I, this is a high-risk maneuver, and you know, high-risk come high re rewards. But also come high risk, come high failure as well. And I don't think T-Roy... Oh, <laughs> to the plums! Man, never good. He's not even worried about his midsection anymore. He's worried about his groin section, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Never feels good. Never feels good. T-Roy Jones climbing up top now. T-Roy Jones taking the offense on Johnny Skyler right now. Skyler is going, it looks like he's, he's gonna try to do a suplex maneuver up here. And you know, with, with the added impact of that velocity of coming down right there, that's not gonna feel good on that midsection of Johnny Skyler. Yeah, but Johnny, you see him all with the headbutt and down goes T-Roy. And Skyler's going back up to the ropes again. Trying to get this move one more time. T-Roy's dazed and confused. Skyler <laughs> up with a missile drop kick and lands right on top for the pin count. Two, three. Oh, Johnny Skyler within inches of winning this matchup. T-Roy Jones within inches of losing this matchup. Skyler is getting frustrated right now. And, you know, desperation moves coming this time. Look at that clothesline out of Johnny Skyler. Skyler calling him back up. Two fists to the chest, and Skyler once again, ooh, spinning heel kick. Wow, he's really putting on a show right now. Uh, these moves, I don't know how he's doing it. He's got his abs all just in a bind right now, but then he gets the he gets the energy and up there and just coming back again. And wow, Pio, look at that, taking him down. <laughs> I don't know what you would call it. It's, it's some bulldog-like maneuver, but Johnny Skyler still uh, with the upper hand here, frustrated with the count. Folks, this is a great matchup, but, uh, but the, the real question right now is Sean Cruz, what, what's going to happen with him later on tonight? No, you know, I don't know. I don't know if he's found somebody in the back, if he's pulled someone's grandpa to come, you know, wrestle with him, or, a, hey, uh, hey, kid in the Mets uniform, just come hang out with me. Here we go, Johnny Skyler with sliced bread. Look at that. And Johnny Skyler, one, two, three. No. Sliced bread, I don't even know what that is, but it's the best thing since. I, I think that was a great maneuver. Folks, this matchup is over, but we, we're gonna stay tuned to find out if, if Sean Cruz is gonna have a partner.
Welcome back. The moment of truth has arrived. As you see, Big Bad Bully or is out. I would like to call B Cube and Big Daddy Michael Devine, also known as Pain and Agony. They come out to the ring, and we are about to see if Sean Cruz has a partner in this momentous matchup here on Midnight Mayhem. That's a lot of M's. Yeah, it definitely is, and uh, these guys ball so hard. And, uh, you know, here comes a guy who's balling hard himself, uh, the cruise missile, Sean Cruz. And it's, uh, well, he's got a mic. It looks like he's got a hope he's got somebody in his corner right now. He's, he's solo right now, but he's got a microphone in his hand. Folks, let's take a quick listen to what he has to say. Fellas, fellas, calm down. You don't need to talk. Oh, you want to talk? Let's get it. Well, I, I, got, I just got a little something to say. I just got something to say. Just, just give me a second. Okay, so you know, um, I was supposed to have a partner here. Something mysteriously, he didn't show up. Now, you guys wouldn't have nothing to do with that, would you? Not on Okay, well, lucky for me and lucky for you, I found the partner. And I just wanted to be out here to see the look on you guys' face when I announce who my partner is. So without further ado, my partner for this evening, Mr. Scotty Matthews! Wow, you heard it first from Sean Cruz. This is a little bit of a shock. Scotty Matthews, a man we've never seen on Midnight Mayhem, but I know him very well. He is from Fayetteville, North Carolina. I don't think that's Scotty Matthews' partner that just came out there. No, no, I have no idea who that guy is, to be honest with you. Uh, he, he's, uh, he's looking like he's his uh, you know, partner and companion there, but uh, I don't think he wants any part of pain and agony. That's what I don't think so either. I think he's going to let Scotty Matthews do all the work here and Sean Cruz because those men, let's get straight to the matchup. Scotty. Matthews taking a big left hand from Big Daddy Michael Devine. Folks, if, if, what, look at Ali Steele. Ali Steele has made his way ringside, and he took a cheap shot on Sean Cruz. What a jerk. Uh, it just magically appears. I mean, this guy is swift. He just came out of nowhere and, uh, you know, really put it uh, to the cruise missile. Oh. It's like Kung Fu Panda. He's big, but he's very quick and stealth. And, folks, I mean, you see these three men right here. You've got Pain and Agony and Ali Steele. Look at Sean Cruz using Scotty Matthews as a springboard right here. Now nah, more like a stepping stool, to be honest with you. I didn't see the cruise missile getting too much height or altitude on that one. Well, you see uh, Sean Cruz and you see Pain, Agony, and Ali Steele. All four of those men are going to be February 11th at Lumberton Gymnastic Academy, folks. They are going to be Sean Cruz, Casey McKnight, and Charlie Dreamer against those three behemoths you see right there in the ring. And Big Bad Bully is getting his licks in while he can. Beast cubed, just trying to choke the life out of Sean Cruz and getting a little, uh, getting a little uh, frisky with Scotty Matthews. No, he definitely is, and, and I would be anyone but the cruise missile right now. When you got that big guy coming at you, look at him. Oh, he's not even flinching. He's just gnats, it looks like. Oh, he's trying to get him up, up up top now, but. Oh, oh and he picks him up and drops him like a baby. Look at that. Just slamming him to the ground. He just dropped him like, he's like, you know, I, I, I'm not even gonna attempt to, to, to hold your weight up right there. B, B cubed getting some jawing action with Scotty Matthews, but it doesn't look like Scotty should be talking right now because pain and agony are showing who they are. But oh, look, look at this, Sean Cruz uh, fighting back. Oh, knock, is he knocked out? It looked like a, the big dead go, <laughs> but he got the right hook back up. I don't know how he got the energy to do that one, but uh, looks like he's getting a second win here. How do you? Look at, oh, the cruise missile is going for his namesake, taking out Big Daddy Michael Devine and, and, and Ali Steele right there, giving some moral support to his pain and agony brethren. I don't think, uh, you know, the, the Big Bad Bully knew what he was doing right there, throwing Sean Cruz out of the ring uh, right to his partner. Didn't look like a smart move at all. Well, you, you usually see these men work together like a well-oiled machine, but it, it looked a little bit different. A rare misstep by pain and agony, but uh, it looks like Big Bad Bully is getting right back into it, throwing Sean Cruz against those ropes like like a rag doll, and now going for a chokehold. 
right here on Sean Cruz. Oh, definitely. And you see him, he's right underneath 300 plus pounds of behemoth. And uh, just raking on his face, getting him on. I'll just see you later. I don't want anything to do with you. Here comes uh, Michael Devine to, to pick up his, you know, lesser. Now, Brock, and now it, it, think about this, Brock. If this is any indication of what we're going to be seeing February 11th in Lumberton Gymnasium uh, Gymnastics Academy, I think that matchup might be mighty quick. I uh, definitely so. You know, he's just they're just toying right now with the cruise missile. It, it's you know, you see the little guy. He's got a heart. He's got a lot of bravery getting in there. But to be honest with you, it's it's uh, not looking good. But right now, he's trying to get uh, things coming back. The, the thing about Sean Cruz is Sean Cruz may be smaller than Pain and Agony, uh, but Sean Cruz has the heart and soul of a lion. And look at this, Michael Devine choking the life out of Sean Cruz. Look at that. He's trying to stop the heart and uh, put his soul back in uh, uh, the afterlife. If, if you, uh, well, Ali Steele! Ali Steele! Of course, getting those big bear claws around, and that's never good. And, and these guys are just working like a team. And uh, where's the ref at? Come on, man. The ref distracted by Scotty Matthews. I'm not sure if, if I would have taken the same route on that one when you've got three against Gato. My! Look at B cubed right there. Big Bad Bully just knocking the living snot out of Sean Cruz. And Sean Cruz crawling to his corner, but he is not able to get there as Big Bad and Bully come together right here on Sean Cruz. You think that's three men, and it looks like three men in the ring right now, but it's just two because Big Bad Bully is so big. And I like Steel getting the trip right there. Ref's on. But what's he gonna do, honestly? And the, oh, the lumber coming down. I'm scared for this referee right here. He has got three of the biggest men in the Mid-Atlantic, and uh, he he has this, this just unholy amount of stuff that could go wrong in this matchup for him. Yeah, he definitely does. He look, he's, he's trying to just scrap and claw his way out of this corner right here, but it's Sean Cruz tangled, up, tangled up in black right here, not looking good. Sean Cruz not able to get away. Scotty Matthews trying to make the save, but the ref says, Scotty, look, look at here, Scotty. That's not how we do it in professional wrestling. But as he has his back turned, Michael Devine taping it, taking cheap shots on Sean Cruz. What are you doing, ref? Uh, you know, it, 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 Matthews is just getting himself in more trouble. Uh, by coming out of the ring like this because it's not working and it's, he's done it a couple times and all the the Panganagony group doing is just uh, making it to their advantage. Sean oh, Cruz, Cruz. Cruz coming back with a big European uppercut able to take the big man down. Wow, Sean Cruz, that is impressive. Maybe you're going to stand a chance February 11th at the Lumberton Gymnastics Academy. For some reason, I think you're trying to plug that place and it looks like it's working out, but you got Fred Matthews in here working on Michael Devine. Not looking good for the big man, the big man oh, goes big up. Man. Scotty Matthews trying to pick up Michael Devine, not able to, oh, Scotty what Matthews takes a tumble. Michael Devine able to capitalize and trying to choke the life out of Scotty Matthews. Yeah, you know, you know, he's got it right there, but he's holding on to the ropes and, uh, you know, not looking good for the two big men just trying to go up. Looked like uh, Scotty tried to pick him up, but he didn't know how big he was. And then Michael Devine able to capitalize on this. A blind tag by Sean Cruz. The ref saw it, and Sean Cruz is the legal man, and he's going for some sort of sleeper hold on Big Daddy Michael Devine. No, oh, he's got him right now. He's trying to. You see, uh, looking for uh, gasping for that air. He's trying to find something, find his way around. Oh, not looking good for the big boys. Pandemonium. This referee is not really uh, keeping things legal at this moment. Ali still getting some licks in. Scotty Matthews taking on in the ring, not, not getting the proper five count. What are you doing, ref? I think my Uncle Joe is out there trying to hit somebody. It's Bedlam. The, it's, Bedlam. It, it's Bedlam here in Midnight Mayhem Arena. And you've got the whole cast of Morrison County, uh, a, rec, a Morrison Correctional Institute out here. I mean, it, this is just, I, it's insane here. Sean Cruz, able, uh, he might take out Michael Devine. It, you know, all 800, oh, the big guy. Just coming together. A lot of love, I'm sure they hang out with each other, but not when you put the two pancakes together. They're looking big bad bully able to grab Sean Cruz up in the air, and he's looking at Sean Cruz. Oh! Sean Cruz is down. Out two, three. My God.
God, folks. Sean Cruz, it, it, he is pancaked right now, folks. It's going to hurt in the morning. It's going to hurt a week from now. That just was not looking good. Thank you for watching. And remember, February 11th, folks, come on out. Have a good night. Mothers, send your children their rooms. <laughs>